back guys to another video on Kerbal Space Program. Uh, now we're going to be showing off the Pelican, which is a aircraft on Halo. I think it's on all the Halos, except for ODST. I don't remember seeing Pelican there. I mean, there probably was. Okay, um, so we have a Mark 1 and Mark 2 version, also Mark 1 first. Here it is, it's quite simple and Rano Smoggy Bays, because I've forgotten to save it. X and C. Alright, then. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't scrape on the ground. Alright, so I have to be cautious about that. Hmm. Alright, so we're going to save that and launch. We have Bob Kerman, and is in the middle. Okay. So if we do go fast enough with this aircraft, uh, it will start lifting up. Okay, just like now. <laughs> it's a tank, this thing. As you can see, I have uh, wings here. So I'm, I think it's called Swift Wing. I can't remember. Swift. Yeah, it's a pretty long wing. And I did that just, just for the lift. And it is going very, very good. Okay, not, not anymore. Fix that up. Alright, it's turning. Clicking SAS. I don't know, I, I usually click it every now and then. Because, let me tell you why. Oh, why did it do that? Why? Okay. We have to go with it. Hmm. I'm thinking we might need to use caps lock. Now I'm trying, I'm clicking Q every now and then to actually turn the aircraft, and it doesn't actually turn it. I'm going to lift up instead. If I get high enough, then I'll be able to turn it around, configure it, without crash landing. But the VTOL version of this, which is Mark II, is way better. Yeah, the, the front part's pretty heavy of this. This is why it's going so well. And we do have SS, yeah, the uh, avionics package. Yes, this is a complete failure. Lift, lift, T. <laughs> ah, this is not working. Restart. Try it again, then Mark 2. Is that the moon? Did you guys see that pausing part? Yeah. Probably the moon. Mun. Interesting names. These planets. And lift. Now, take this into consideration. I'm not going to bother with this design. Okay, but there is a good stopping point there. See, when you start up your jet engines, um, they will go faster and faster. Right, they'll, they'll work. Like as soon as you just turn on jet, have you ever seen a jet engine? How when you turn it on, you have to like wait a couple of seconds before it actually goes at full throttle. Yep. Just be cautious about that. I mean, this one wasn't even at full throttle when we lifted up. Where is it? Okay. Uh, I don't like those designs. Why did I even name it that? Here it is, Pelican Mark Two. Yeah, ha ha ha. VTOL version. Alright, so we have a turbojet engine and a normal basic jet engine. I did that because uh, they, for some reason, um, when I had a jet engine there, jet engine was more powerful and it lifted up the whole thing the wrong way. I think it's because it's a bit heavier on the front, a bit lighter in the back, I think. I don't really know. Alright, let's check the center of thrust and lift. So lift is there, thrust is there, mm, mass is right in the middle. Quite confusing. I don't really know how to read that half the time. I'll ignore it for now. Oh, now lift is gone. No problem. So this is exactly the same design, except the engines are positioned in a different angle, and that's easier to do. 
you don't know how to do that, check my, I think it's called Tips and Tricks video. Part 1 and Part 2. Okay, so as I said before, you have to wait until the engines are max capacity, for max throttle, and space bar. And if I click S, it does adjust itself. Which is, it is pretty much almost exactly like the real, real one. Uh, uh, uh. No, 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 no. Whoa, lucky. No, fail. <laughs> My bad. Okay, I'm gonna have caps lock on for now. Maybe I won't need to go full throttle. I don't need to go full throttle. Oh, I might, might need to actually. Yeah, adjusting its position is a bit uh, unusual. Before I tried this out and it was working quite well. well. Except for that. So the front is more more powerful than the back. And the more high you go, the more powerful the turbojet engine gets. That's a bit of an issue. Maybe it's best to just stay low altitude. Mm, Alright. Pretty weird. Turn rate is crazy. Because we're actually using the VTOL engines to turn. Okay, let's try and do this. Throttle down. So it's slowing down, maybe we need to turn a bit. Not good, not good. Turning the aircraft at the same time. Not oh, good. That's okay. Go with the flow. Okay, and on. Uh, not. Nah. I think you can figure it now. Lift, lift, lift. No. Uh, complete bail. What the? Ah, <laughs> uh, complete failure. Ha, la, la, la. Maybe someone else is better than me with this. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, so one more try. Whoa. What was that? PC weirdness. We're just pretty much gliding in the air. Are we even. We're actually going up still. Hmm. Interesting. On an angle. We are falling. It's pretty weird. Oh, oh, keep the nose down. I want to turn. Okay, this, this thing won't turn properly. Back to its original position. Ah. <laughs> oh well, well, that was alright. Anyway, that's a tip and trick for the monolith. How to find a monolith. Say you uh, crash land, right, in a one area and you want to search the entire area, you zoom out, and you can go each centimeter until you find something like this. Voila, we just found an east egg within the game. See? That's and simple. You can do that for a long distance. See that? Look how far we're covering.
uh, you can't really go down any more than that so we pretty much cover this this length which is enough cover a long distance so I would have found something by now alright but that's it for the episode and thanks for watching